It's no secret that as stay-at-home moms, we have lots of different hats to wear and positions to take on. And because eating is necessary for survival, one of those positions is house chef. Today, I'm going to share with you some recipes, tips, tricks, and the systems that have helped me make the tasks of being house chef a little simpler and more efficient. Starting with this simple trick a friend on Instagram shared with me. After washing your produce, store it with a paper towel on top and then flip it upside down. After implementing this tip, I immediately noticed how much longer my produce was keeping in the fridge. I'm Andrea, and here on Home and Family Management, the YouTube channel, I share the systems, habits, routines, tips, and tactics that I have found to help me run my home more simply and efficiently as a stay-at-home mom. My next tip is to prep and freeze whatever you can. Every week, I like to prep all of my kids' peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for the week. I make enough for the whole week and then wrap them in tin foil and freeze. They are thawed out by the time lunchtime rolls around and my boys like to make the little tin foil into little balls. Huge time and stress saver during the weekday morning rush. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone asleep Now let's whip up a recipe that's been a lifesaver for me in the world of baking. Homemade cake goop. I always make sure I have some on hand because baking is my passion and this magical concoction ensures that I can create delicious treats without ever worrying about them sticking to the pan, which means less wasted ingredients. It's a simple blend of shortening, vegetable oil and flour carefully mixed into this silky smooth consistency and I like to keep mine in it this cute little convenient oil jar with a brush applicator for easy use. Our minds be caught up in a dream. 
I always say it's best to invest in the things that make your job and life easier. And this little jar is so cute. It's easy to store the cake goop in and it makes it so easy to apply it. If you're interested, I'll have it linked below. I cannot talk about making my job as a house chef easier and more efficient without talking about crock pot meals. I schedule a minimum of one crock pot meal a week, normally on Tuesdays right now because it's our busiest day of the week with two soccer practices and Marcus has softball that night as well. Crock Pot's set it and forget it strategy allows me to prep and serve a home cooked meal even when I can't be in the kitchen around dinner time. This week I am making crock pot pepper steak. Starting here with the sauce. I will have the recipe linked below. So after I whisk up this sauce, I will then cut up a beef sirloin into strips and add that to the crock pot, then cover with the sauce. I will then cut up some peppers, onion, and garlic to sit on top and then set it on low. I served it on top of ramen noodles. Another quick tip for you is when you need to measure out honey, always spray the measuring spoon with olive oil first and then the honey will just slide right off. My tip if you are getting frustrated with having to find new recipes every week to make for dinner and it's getting overwhelming, just keep it simple. If I don't want to think about what I have to make, I just choose one protein, one carb, and one vegetable for the dinner. Okay, so now it's time to prep all the veggies to go in the crock pot as well. And one thing that has made me better in the kitchen and more efficient is taking the time to look up how to cut, chop, dice, and mince different vegetables on YouTube. So YouTube is amazing. Anyone can learn any skill and looking up how to effectively chop up vegetables saves me so much time and gives me a lot more confidence in the kitchen.
All right, this tip I picked up from watching cooking shows, but I always like to have a bowl with me to put any of the discard stuff in while I'm cooking. It makes it quicker because I'm not stopping and walking to the trash can or the garbage disposal every time. And it keeps my counters cleaner, which makes cleanup even faster. I love when a meal is this colorful. It just looks so appetizing and it was really good. Another thing I like to prep and freeze are some breakfast options. This week I am prepping my pancake bites. I like to use a basic pancake recipe and then cook them in a mini muffin tin. I will freeze them, then just heat up a few as needed in the microwave. The texture stays perfect and they are a hit with my boys. And because I prepped some cake goop, I'm all ready to bake whenever I get the chance. I learned about the phrase mise en place, which is a French culinary term when I first started getting into baking. It translates to everything in its place, and it refers to this practice of prepping and organizing all the necessary ingredients and tools before starting to cook or bake, which makes the whole cooking or baking process more efficient and organized. Once all the ingredients are gathered, measured, and weighed out, it makes it so much easier to just start putting the recipe together, which is going to leave less room for error. All right, now I'm gonna pour the batter into this pancake dispenser. And this is another one of those tools that I say invest in what makes your life easier. This thing is easy to clean, it's easy to pour from, and I love using it for pancakes and waffles. But it would really work great for any batter you need to dispense into a pan. Show only the good sides. 
Always pretty smiles are covering her face. You know it is all lies. You know it is all lies. And then I just make sure those pancake bites cool completely before adding them to a freezer friendly bag and storing them in the freezer. When I worked at a tanning salon, we had to change out the trash bags in all 30 rooms of tanning beds every night before closing up. So to make it easier, we would keep an extra roll of trash bags at the bottom of each trash can so that way it makes it more of a one step change. The sun is always shining right. I cannot be the only one who loses a ton of recipes in the mound of recipes I have saved on Pinterest. So instead of having to go through Pinterest to find my favorite recipes, the ones that I have tried and I know I like, I like to get these bigger index cards and write all of the ingredients and the directions down on these. It just makes it more simple to grab these recipes and go. Even if I'm not making a crock pot recipe, I will try to carve out some time in the day to get tedious tasks done for the dinner that night, such as prepping this cauliflower for the cauliflower mash. I have a lot more time in the little pockets of free time throughout the day than when I do when I'm trying to put the full meal together. So find little pockets in the day where you can chop your veggies and get them ready for the night's dinner. Now my last but certainly not least tip for this video is to set systems and processes for tedious to-dos like grocery shopping and meal planning. If you're interested in streamlining this tedious to-do, check out the link below where you can get these free printables as well as a quick mini course on how to use these and maximize them to make your meal planning and grocery shopping simpler and more efficient. The link is in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember here at Home and Family Management, we take our jobs seriously. We prioritize growth in all areas of life. We get done what needs to get done so that way we have the time and energy to focus on whatever it is that brings actual joy to us and ours. I'll talk to you soon and I'll see you next time.